Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. Hello, ladies and gentlemen from Lumio Station. My name is Ramana99, and today I will be bringing you guys an NU Wi Fi battle against Dot. And now, before I start this battle, I actually just want to thank everybody over at Lumio Station for letting me have the chance of having my video you know up on their channel you know all these submission community submission things are just so great this is interaction with the community it's just awesome but that's enough of that let's let's get into the battle so analyze let's let's analyze my team a bit so i have i'm, I'm pairing the just an all out offensive executor which is not something you usually see uh after that we have the pyroar it's just normal pyroar uh, choice specs is uh, probably the most common set. We have Uxie. Uxie is nice. Uxie is really bulky in the special. I think especially in, in normal defensive, it's really bulky. And I like it for that. Then there's Probo Pass. Probo Pass is just a monster in the stats, and dude, it just sucks that he has double weakness to ground and fighting, which are so common. Then we have Cracking, probably one of my favorite Pokemons in the sixth gen, because of Contra and Super. Ah, it's just good. And then we have, then we have Cheesecake, which is my Slurpuff, just belly drum, kill everything. Now let's analyze this team. This team has got, he's got this, this um, the Rotom, 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 which is not something you usually. Well, I guess it is something you usually see. This is, I, I don't know, I don't really like that too much. Uh, probably Scarf. Then we have uh, this bulk, just bulky Bioplume. This Bioplume is bulky, really, really bulky. After that, we have Clink Clang, which is Clink Clang is powerful. It can be powerful, used right with the gear grind. Ugh, it's just destruction. Destruction. Then we have the Seismitoad, bulky Seismitoad, being able to take to eat those hits up. After that, we have Leafeon. Leafeon is just, you know, it's just a good attacker. It's a good attacker. And then we have Samurott, which. Uh, I, I haven't really seen too much Samurott, but you know, it's, it's interesting. So let's get right into the battle. Why wait? Why have to wait to see a battle when you can just see it right now? I don't have to just keep talking to make this interesting. I kind of do. It's kind of stuff. Ah, commentary at this finest. So he's going to start off with his Samurott. And I'm just going to go with my big boss, which is my Executor. And uh, here I'm predicting the switch. So instead of going for the Giga Drain, I actually go for the Psychic, I believe, because I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I'm predicting the Vile Plume, predicting the Vile Plume the coming, but what else? Okay, so the Psychic does a ton of damage to the Leafeon, doesn't manage to kill it, sadly. Leafeon does knock me off, and I it knocked off a Citrus Berry with Life Orb, and didn't manage to kill Executor. That's how good my big balls are. Yep, I just said that. So, I, try, I tried to hit him, powered him, I didn't know it was a lot of Life Orb, so... There we go, there we go, this is that. So, here I switch into my Pyroar. The reason I switch into my Pyroar is because I feel like he's gonna go for a Ghost type move. But I actually, he probably, he went for the Bolt Switch, predict I don't know what people predicting. Probably the Bolt Switch probably would have killed. He does get a crit, sadly, which kind of sucks. Uh, but, uh, what are you gonna do? He sends out his his uh, clank clang for some reason I don't understand that he made he made a double oh, actually I kind of do he made a double a double switch that those powerful double switches are, are gonna happen quite often he, he goes for a double switch predicting the flamethrower he does predict directly because at that point of the battle I'm not ri willing to risk it so I'll just whatever just go with that just let's just go with that so after that I decide this is not a good matchup because I am choice specs into that so I go for my Brainiac. Brainiac, as a matter of fact, does carry Giga Drain, which I believe is going to give me a huge advantage over this this uh, Seismitoad. I almost forgot your name, huh, <laughs> dude? So I am going to go for the Giga Drain, I believe. Yeah, there we go. There we see the Giga Drain. Sadly, it will not kill because I have no special attack investments, it's a def a special defense uh, and HP. He does knock on my leftovers, which is sad. It sucks because it's one of my only recovery methods and yeah, I mean there's really nothing I can do so he does withdraw the seismic toad uh, I kind of don't want to go for the gear drain I actually just go for the side shot because it's tab and I kind of predict the switch so it didn't work out that well because cogs is the steel type and the steel versus psychic obviously so I'm gonna switch who am I gonna switch into god I wish I knew this battle so he's actually gonna pull off a double switch he does this a lot he seems to do this a lot He's gonna go back in the seismic toad, predicting the switch. He does predict correctly because I'm I'm not that street smart. 
and I go into Kraken. Kraken is just a beast. I love this dude so much. So with all the switches he's doing, I predict the switch into the Rotom. Uh, with all these switches he's doing, I just predict the switch into the Rotom and I actually go for the Night Slash. I do predict correctly, and now comes the Rotom, and that Rotom is going to get Night Slash, kabam! And it's not going to be able to take it out, sadly, because uh, it's not that powerful. Kraken is not that powerful without the, the superpowers. So he does outspeed me. He's probably Choice Scarf. Uh, I'm Choice Scarf as well, but Kraken's not uh, the speedy-ass dude. So I do go for the Night Slash. This this Wild Plume eats everything up. It just ate that thing up. Oh, my lord. So I do switch. I switch out into the Probe That Ass. Into Probe That Ass. I love that nickname. So with Probe That Ass, I, I decide. Okay, well, um, he's doing he's doing lots of switching. So I'm just gonna I just, I'm just gonna set up the rocks. Because if you're gonna play the switching game, then I might as well just punish him for it. He might, might as well get a little bit hurt. No. So I, I do manage to get up to left uh, to get up to full health, which will make my sturdy activate in case of emergencies. So I do go with Celeste Rock. He probably predicted me to switch, to be honest. So I just go for the Stealth Rock right here, and the, the Rotom probably predicted the switch. But I'm not, a matter of fact, I'm not gonna switch. I do eat that up because Probopass is a tank. He has 145 special defense. That's a lot. So I do go for the Bolt Switch. It it is gonna kill the Rotom's got like no HP left. And I am gonna switch into I believe Oh uh, yeah, there we go. I switch into Cheesecake. I'm hoping Cheesecake can you know can do some damage right now. And my computer just fell asleep. Shoot. Okay, so the Samurai comes out and I go for the belly drum. I, I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll survive a hit. Maybe I'll take a hit. Cheesecake is, is Normally pretty bulky. Normally pretty pretty much survives anything that comes its way. So I'm pretty confident I'll survive whatever it takes. So it does go for the hydro pump. It's actually special uh, attacking. I did not expect that. Special attacking samurai. Did not expect that. And he does manage to kill my cheesecake, which sucks. Sucks. So at this point I'm panicking because I don't know what else to do. I wouldn't probe that as for some reason. I'm just not in the game. He actually hydro punched me. It's super effective. I don't have any special defense investments, and I'm dead. Yeah. I, at this point, I'm just panicking. I don't know what to do. I'm just throwing out Pokemon, hoping Life Orb does tons of damage. You know, I send out Brainiac. Maybe Brainiac. Maybe I'll be able to do some stuff with Brainiac since I do carry Giga Drain. I thought mm, that'd be good, but sadly, sadly, I do actually misclick. And hit Psy Shock instead of Giga Drain, which is uh, pretty important. Because that sucks. I probably would have been able to kill it. Maybe. No. No, actually, no. I go for the Protect, just trying to stall. I don't I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. At that exact moment, I was just, you know, panicking. He goes for the Ice Beam. The Ice Beam is going to kill. Maybe he predicted to switch into other Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not just going to sack this off. I do. He does go for the Ice Beam, which is going to take my. Brainiac out. So at this point, uh, I am. I'm just. Uh, I just. I'm just thinking. Well, he 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 killed me. I'm dead. But actually, Nala survives with one HP, which isn't just incredible. I decided to go for the flamethrower instead of the hyper voice because hyper voice uh, clink clang is not gonna get that, and you know, not gonna get affected by that. Kind of need a, something to hit hard everybody. Seismic Toad and Samurai were already low on health, so I decided that. Maybe a flame th choice specs flamethrower would be enough to kill both of them. And once those two were out, I would be able to kill the vile plume and the clang clang. And effectively, I was right. The flamethrower does take out the seismic toad. It does take out the samurai. The clang clang and the vile plume are not gonna take a flamethrower from a choice specs. Li uh, I almost said literally. Oh, whoa! From a choice specs. Uh, I forgot her name. Pyroar, they're not going to take that from Choice Specs Pyroar, and that is effectively GG. Yeah, that's it. Just wait for the flamethrower to kill this wild pool. There we go. That is GG. It was a pretty close battle. I almost lost. Nala just saved my butt in the right last moment. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this commentary, you know, remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, 
remember to subscribe to Lumio Station because this channel is amazing. It's lots of content, lots of great content, lots of great conductors. I love it. And if you'd like, if you'd like, you know, it's not not necessary, but it is appreciated. If you like, you could go check out my channel in the description below. It should be in the description below. It's also in my uh, what is it? My layout, uh, as well as my Twitter. So I mean, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I guess. I guess that's a thing you can do. Uh, the another thing I kind of should explain. There's a Wi-Fi Sunday on the top. The reason for that is because I do these uh, these Wi-Fi battles on Sundays, and I kind of already had the layout, and I didn't feel like changing it. So, I mean, it's good, right? It's 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 nice layout. So I just feel like it's it's good the way it is. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, my name was Ramen99. And I thank you all for watching. Good night. Or good day. Whatever, whatever time you're watching this. Goodbye.